Hi, this is Andrew from DPS again, and I've been getting a lot of questions about Modbus protocol. Modbus is getting more and more popular. Uh, in the old days, you would be using a lot of contact closures, and so you would be able to collect data that way, but that meant that you had to have one relay closure for everything you wanted to monitor. Modbus being a protocol is much more flexible, so let's take a look at one basic example. So imagine that you have, I'm going to use a very common example, a generator. And that's something that's going to be able to report its status via Modbus. And what are some of the things that a generator might have going on inside of it? Well, there could be like the current run state. Is it running? Maybe oil pressure. And then finally, maybe something like the all-important fuel level. So you've got all these things that are kind of in its mind. And this is a very basic example. You might have upwards of 1,000 different registers, they're called, that are tracking different values inside of your device. So what's going to happen is you will have your device talking Modbus connected via either serial or LAN, depending on the exact configuration that you've got going. And then you're going to have some top-level device. And this is, well, there's a couple things it could be. It could be an RTU like a uh, DPS Net Guardian is one example, and that would commonly be connected via serial. You could also, and I guess I'll write an OR here, you can also have just any SCADA HMI, and that's usually going to happen over LAN uh, if it's talking directly. Uh, that one could be polling the generator as well. So what happens is, is these devices are capable of sending Modbus polls. They're going to ask the device on a regular basis, what's going on? And then it will reply back, well, I'm currently running or I'm not currently running. This is my oil pressure. This is my fuel level. All the way down to some very obscure things. This is my serial number. This is how long I've been up time. This is how long I've been running. So there are many, many things you can get via Modbus that in the old days with simple contact closures, you simply can't get. You might still be running contact closures on this device, uh, like redundantly to the RTU. Maybe these give you major, minor, critical, some basic stuff. But Modbus is a way to get a lot more information out of your devices. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more like this one, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel.